today we are making a recreation of a dish from one of my fellow bloggers. Her name is Rosina. Uh, her blog is Rosina's Persian Kitchen and she also has a YouTube channel. So we're making an Iranian dish. Uh, Rosina is Iranian, currently living in Scotland with her husband and we communicate and have a um, pretty good relationship um, about blogging and um, the like. So her Iranian recipe is a dish called yatimche. Um, it's known as, uh, in English, little orphan. And it's pretty much a dish where um, you put everything you have into it. Mostly vegetarian, um, but some people um, add meat and we're going to do that today. So the first thing we're going to do is, is get our meatballs ready. And we're using lamb today. So I've heated some oil and I'm um, cooking some shallots. The shallots are going to go into the meatball mix along with a little oregano and a little lemon zest. So I want to thank all our subscribers who are watching and hopefully some of Rosina's subscribers who are also watching. Um, we could not do this without you. Appreciate you watching on the blog um, and our various social media. So we'll be back once these have gotten a little um, sweat on them and then we'll put our meatballs together. So to make the uh, meatballs sort of go into this stew, the Tim K or Little Orphan is a stew with potatoes and tomatoes and um, we're going to put some onions and garlic and uh, it's going to have meat in the middle. It's very delicious. So we're going to take the shallots, put them in a bowl, and then we're going to put the meat in. All right, we've got our shallots. This is one pound of ground lamb. Put the lamb in there. We're going to put in some salt and pepper. And about a tablespoon of oregano. Right. And then we're going to zest about a half a lemon. And that's going to add flavor. This is when we make our um, some of our lamb burgers or lamb meatballs. Um, all these kind of go together. All right, so that's about a half of a lemon. If you wanted to put a little mint in there, you could. So we're going to mix this by hand, get everything incorporated. All right, and we'll go ahead and make our meatballs. And in the same pan that we just fried the shallots in, we're going to put some, these are red potatoes. Um, Rosina's recipe calls for large potatoes, but then you have to peel them and I'm not much for peeling, so I just use the baby reds and the skin can stay on. So they're going to go in and they're going to cook for a little bit, get a little brown on them. And while they're doing that, going to make the meatballs. On them golf ball size. All right, we're just going to make as many as we can fit in. And while we're doing that, we will stir the potatoes. We're just trying to get them a little browned because they're going to cook in the stew in one stove top. This, is a, this can be a one pan dish. I just happen to have a big pan. Um, Rosina does it in a saute pan and then puts it in a larger pan. Uh, I'm just using the same one because, you know, that's, I'm that kind of guy. All right, so continue with the meatballs. All right, so we've got our meatballs ready to go in just a minute. Continue to stir the potatoes so they can get a little brown on them. So we're going to let these cook for another minute or two. And we're going to take them out and then we'll make the, uh, we'll cook the meatballs. All right, we're gonna remove the potatoes and then we're gonna, in the same pot, you can see some of these have nice brown on them. Um, same pot, we will 
be cooking the meatballs. All right, we're just going to add the meatballs in. Nice sizzle. I've turned the meatballs a couple of times, trying to get rid of all the pink, trying to just brown them, because again, they're going to cook in the stew. Um, when we put everything together, we're going to simmer for about 30 minutes, so everything will continue to, to cook. All right, we're going to take the uh, meatballs out. They're pretty brown. They don't have to be all the way cooked. I'm going to put these off to the side. Now in the same pan, we're going to saute them the aromatics. That's one chopped onion. I have this in the fridge. It's a half of a red pepper, raw bell pepper. I put that in. And this is some sliced garlic. Uh, her recipe calls for sliced garlic, so that's what we use. And there are so many great flavors on the bottom here. So we're going to saute this for a minute or two. While the aromatics are cooking, we're going to make our sauce. So this is about a cup and a half of hot water. Steam, steam. I'm going to take about a teaspoon of turmeric, put that in. I'm going to take some, about the tablespoon of tomato paste. And tomato paste. And we're going to stir this. And this is going to be the base of the sauce that we're going to use. Add a little salt and pepper. So, what we're going to do now, go back over to our pan. Um, we're going to add the potatoes back in. We're going to add our meatballs back in. We have some diced tomatoes, just a couple of regular tomatoes are going in. Good color. And we're going to top with our sauce. Thing into the, the juice and everything is going to cook in here for about 30 minutes. All right we're just about at 30 minutes. Timer should be ringing any second now and there it is. All right so right at 30 minutes. This smells delicious. Rosina this is a great dish. So we just check the potatoes just to make sure yeah, it goes right in. So, everything is ready to go. We're just going to serve it in a nice bowl. Get a few meatballs in there. Get some potatoes. And um, you can either serve it with some pita bread or some naan. But there you have it. Rosina's Persian Kitchen. Her family's recipe, Fratimche, um, also known as Little Orphan. So if you look up Little Orphan on the internet, you'll find about 700 different recipes, and this is her family's. So thank you for watching. Appreciate all our subscribers. And thanks to Rosina and Rosina's Persian Kitchen for her recipe, and glad we could give you our recreation and our take on it. Until next time, thanks for watching.